All right. So how was the character Roxy on the L word Gen Q originally described to you? Um, it was very vague, actually. <laughs> um, I believe it was it was the Halloween episode mm -hmm. and my character was dressed in a Xena outfit. And I have, it was so vague. So I had no idea who I was talking to, but I, it was like approaching Danny's character. Mm -hmm. And um, I had no idea that, that it was going to be what it is. And I, I that might've changed or, um, but yeah, I, I auditioned and I kind of tried my best to look as if I was Xena warrior princess. Nice. Yeah. yeah she was certainly a lively character who just kind of jumped right into it. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I think especially if like you, you, the character has so much history with Danny, mm -hmm. you kind of got to jump right into it. Like, you know, your best friends, uh, it's like a day hasn't gone by. Exactly. Were you familiar with the show before you were cast? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I grew up watching it. I remember um, I was... I think I was maybe like 15 years old something like that when it first came out mm -hmm. and I was kind of like sneak watching it at 11 o'clock at night and uh, I was a big fan of the show um and I still I still watch it like the the OG mm -hmm. and um yeah and then I remember last year I was watching like season two and I was working on a project in Utah and I was like how have I not gotten an audition for the show I need to get on the show already well so, there you go yeah, definitely <laughs> Excellent. Uh, speaking of auditioning, what was your audition experience like uh, to, to play the role of Roxy? Um, what, what do you mean? Uh, you um, know, did, did uh, they have someone in mind? Did you go in? Uh, did you have to read a couple scenes? You know, what was the, the whole vibe like going through that? Um, I, I sent in a tape. Um, I think because of COVID, they're not really bringing people in. Mm -hmm. um, I auditioned a few times for the show. Uh, I think I think I've heard rumors. I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I heard rumors that the that the part was originally for Demi Lovato. Hmm. And but I don't know how true that is. That's just like what what I've heard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it it was it was cool. I I um. I had auditioned for a couple of roles and then this is the one that came out. And I think I had no idea it was going to be this. It, 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 it changes so much from mm -hmm. the initial audition process to when you're actually getting the script. And I don't know if that's just because it's top secret or mm -hmm. things change. I don't know. That makes sense. Uh, one thing that the L word is uh, kind of known for is bringing in these great guest stars uh, that are really memorable, even for, you know, a, a short arc. So, you know, did you feel intimidated at all hopping into the season as one of those guests? Uh, you know, Roxy had a huge undertaking in kind of caring for Danny, uh, while also, you know, you had to sell that their relationship was deep and rich and you know, just that connection was, was pretty prominent on screen, but um, just, you know, did you feel any kind of pressure going into that? Oh, definitely. <laughs> um, especially because my, my first scene that I shot, we were dancing and I was like, oh God, I, <laughs> I don't, I'm so nervous. Mm -hmm. I was uh, dancing and singing, please don't ask me to do that. I will, I will freeze up. Uh, I was definitely very intimidated. But honestly, Ariana Mandi is like one of the, the the nicest people ever, and she made me real made me feel super comfortable on set. And mm -hmm. we talked a lot prior, um, so it was it was we we bonded and we made a friendship outside of the show very quickly. So it felt really natural. Mm -hmm. And also that that set has to be one of the nicest most welcoming sets I've ever been on where everybody is 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 courteous hi how are you it's like mm -hmm. we're all there to do a job but also like everybody was really warm and and it felt really really easy to gel in there yeah good did you find it easy to slip into Roxy's you know 
vivacious, magnanimous character. She's just so full of life. Uh, and you said that, you know, you didn't, you didn't know a ton about her kind of going into it. So just, you know, how, how did you bring that forth? I think um, by nature, I'm more of a shy person. Mm -hmm. So once uh, uh, the, our director, M and, uh, and Danny and even Marja was just like, please just like feel free to let let it all out and be mm -hmm. as like um in a, in a little sense like a, a little douchebaggy a little bit but also like you know whatever this is like your best friend since you were a kid so feel free to just be as like crazy as you are with your other friends so I think the jitters as soon as you get rid of the first jitters it's 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 really easy Good. definitely yeah you touched upon this a little bit uh, in terms of saying it was such a warm set, but can you uh, just describe some of your experience being on set with that cast and crew, some of which have been working together in some capacity for decades at this point, some of which are new but still established as we're in our third season now. Um, just they seem to have welcomed you uh, very, very well. So, <laughs> Yeah, um, well, uh, Ari is so freaking cool like Ari will uh, as soon as you meet her she's like hey do you want to go get coffee this mm -hmm. weekend like let's like let's get to know each other let's be friends um Ro is really cool too and Ro's Dominican and I was born in Dominican Republic so that was easy to get that connection there mm -hmm. um and Jack 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 was really cool too it's just like if you're spending the whole day with somebody and a lot of times we have we have a lot of downtime so we're able to talk uh talk about who we are where we're from so it, it it was really cool and and Leisha Haley oh my god she is like the most outgoing person ever like she's uh I uh, like I just yeah I I I'm just like blushing talking about her she's amazing she's <laughs> so sweet and she is so very much Alice like just this bubbly energetic personality mm -hmm. um and funny story, I actually, I told her this on our last day, um, about 10 years ago, I was um, a bartender at slash barista at this cafe in LA and she came in and I was such a big fan of the L word. This is probably like 2014 and I freaked out and I made her this smoothie and she didn't even order it. And I was like, I got to get this to you because I think you're amazing. I love you. And funny thing is she was like oh my god I remember being in that restaurant because I was the one and only time I ever went there and I vaguely remember getting a smoothie that I didn't order and I was like <laughs> that was a really cool she's she's so cool that's funny it almost sounds like that could have been a plot line you know just Alice walking in somewhere whatever the new the newest iteration of the planet is and and having a barista you know <laughs> oh my yeah <laughs> absolutely um so the Halloween episode recently aired and, you know, have audiences seen The Last of Roxy or, or can we expect more out of her trip to Los Angeles? Um, I think Roxy will be back. Um, I can't say like exactly in what form, but she will be back and the, she, it's, we're going to get the ball rolling. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, she's going to uh she's gonna get a little crazy <laughs> good I think she's, that's uh, what we're looking for <laughs> yeah yeah um it's I can't the, the episode is gonna be really really funny and a little chaotic but in the best way excellent chaos is what we're here for I think <laughs> um what do you think it is about the show that has captured audiences for so long ah uh, well, it it was like it felt. I'm 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 pretty sure it was like the only show at the time uh, when it first came out, and you have like I think it was like six seasons, was it? And I believe it was six seasons. And then so it's off the air, and then you have a brand new a brand new generation of of LGBTQ people that binge watch the show, and now it, it so it's kind of just like there's just such like a cult following for it you know what I mean mm -hmm. it's such like an OG fan base 
Um, it was definitely all I had when I was growing up. And right now it seems like it might be the only thing on TV because like, it feels like everything's getting mixed. Yeah. So, so, you know, it, it's, it's really nice to be able to see yourself and your friends represented on TV. Mm-hmm. And that's what it was for me. Cause we didn't have anything like that when I was growing up. So seeing like Bet and Tina was like a big deal for me and Carmen and Shane, obviously. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. So yeah, I think, I think, I think having that on TV right now is important for mm-hmm. sure. Definitely representation. Uh, you know, every time it, we take a couple steps forward, it feels like we we step back a little bit. And I think uh, the L word has really just been a, a, a mainstay at this point uh, in terms of its significance and its ability to endure and kind of adapt to this new generation. Absolutely. Uh, in addition to acting, you're also a visual artist and photographer. How do you find inspiration to express yourself across so many mediums many of which, you know, are pretty different from one another. Uh, you know, art for me is therapeutic. Um, there's something so like therapeutic about like the, how do I explain this? You spend like an entire week working on a canvas and then you, fi- you see like your final project and you're very proud of it but it's like that entire journey throughout that week like maybe around like day three or day four you you're like what am I doing like (laughs) this looks a mess Mm -hmm. and then you just keep working out a little bit more and a little bit more and then you're like oh my god thank god I just got through that hump and then you see this final product I I love that feeling and I think it translates to so many things in life too Mm -hmm. like I ran a marathon and I don't know what I was thinking but I remember like around mile 19 to like 23 I was like this is I I, I'm gonna have to quit this is the worst thing ever I like I can't feel my toenails at this point Mm -hmm. like I'm chafing and you just push a little bit more and then once you finish it you're like incredibly proud of what you did and that's what art feels like to me because it's like there's so much little struggles in getting to the final product mm-hmm. or the final piece and with photography I just like taking photos of my friends and you know and the cool thing about it is I'll hate the photo and then I look at it like weeks later months later years later I'm like oh my god this is such a beautiful photo why mm-hmm. why didn't I really like it at the time so yeah. you know no that's it, great it's uh definitely kind of an exercise in semi-delayed gratification I'll say, uh, in terms of you just have to kind of work through it and then, then it's there and kind of like it. You might like it the more you look at it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, especially like some abstract art too. Like, mm-hmm. um, I, yeah, well, okay. I was about to get into like a, a, a little trippy story, but yeah, if you just stare at your artwork for long enough under, like mushrooms or something that you'll, you'll start to see different things in your art and you're like oh my god wait I'm a total genius what, what did I do here I'm like putting cryptic messages in my art and I didn't even know it there you go that all right be- too, too much I'm sorry no your subconscious coming out but, you know I think uh anybody watching this will be happy to hear a trippy story <laughs> um uh what would you like to say to everyone who are fans and supporters of your work um thank you I, I'm not really sure it feels so weird it that is just such a weird feeling I don't know uh, thank you I really appreciate it I don't know no, thank you for watching 